Solution to question 2 of the quiz on periodic functions. On planet Anil, which has a 400 day calendar, the moon is in full sight, full moon, on day 142 and not visible at all on day 102. Write a sine function to model the visibility of this moon. How many full moons will this planet have in a year? This is a very interesting question as we are not directly giving you the maximum and minimum values, right? But they are in the question, right? So I found some students, they got really confused with that. And uh, it was difficult to get the equation for some students. Here is how you should do it. So once again, question two is, on planet Anil, which has a 400 day calendar, the moon is in full sight or full moon on day 142. So let's say full moon, you can say one for full moon, right? And not visible at all, let it be zero. So visibility of the moon can be your y value, correct? So so we'll have, so we'll draw like here, we'll make a sketch here. Say, so that, that denotes full moon, a value of one, and this zero, not visible at all right so that is how we are trying to sketch our function so our amplitude will be half of this right half of this so we'll write draw our sine wave in between see how we do it so we can draw some sine waves here right okay let me draw a few of them right so like this now let's read it once again and see what are we given we say full moon is on day 142 so full moon is on day 142 so let's say this is a full moon right and this is on day 142 so let me write 142 here now and it is not visible that means new moon is on day 102 so let's say this is my 102 when moon is not visible now what is the time period of this wave time period is twice between 42 and 102, right? So distance between or the time along the x-axis is 142 minus 102. So we have time period t, which is two times 142 minus 102, okay? So which is 40 times two. So it is 80. And the unit is days. So let me write days here, right? as the unit on x-axis, correct? Now, that is our days. So many days is the time period. Now, we have to write a sine function. That means we are looking for this point. When will this start to give us the phase shift, right? So now we know that 80 is our time period. So what we can do is, we can figure out when we'll be getting this point right right in the center when it is kind of 0.5 do you see that that is the starting point of a sine function right so that should be in between 102 and 142 correct so this point is actually in between them will be how much 20 more right so 40 is the difference between them 20 more so in this particular case this point is 122 so here I can write 122 20 more but the wave starts much before this it will start 80 days before it to get the first point of our wave right so that will be the starting point so what is that so it is 122 minus 80 correct 122 minus 80 which gives us 42 so this starting point for us is on day 42 do you understand this starting point is and on day 42 of the original right so on 42nd day it starts like a sine wave so that gives us the phase shift do you understand so 42 units to the right it has moved that gives us the phase shift now what is the amplitude Amplitude is how high does it go from the mean position. 
it goes 0.5 units up and 0.5 down or you can add the amplitude you subtract 1 minus 0 and divide by 2 right so you can find amplitude equals to 1 minus 0 over 2 which is 0 0.5 and the axis by which it goes up let's say c equals to 1 plus 0 by 2 which is 0 0.5 also okay so we have found phase shift and all these parameters and now we can write the equation of our wave correct in sine function so we'll write this as y equals to a 0 0.5 sine one more parameter is left which is k k will be 2 pi by t if we are doing it in radians right and t is a t for us so let me squeeze it in here k equals to 2 pi by time period which is 80 which solves to pi over 40 correct so we get sine of k is pi 40 times t minus phase shift of 42 right plus it moved how many units up 0 0.5 right so so that is how we are going to give the sine function of this wave I hope you understand it's absolutely clear I hope right so you can go through this explanation once again and try to understand how the trick here is that you take maximum as 1 and minimum as 0 right and then maximum minus minimum divide by 2 will give you amplitude maximum plus minimum divide by 2 will give you how many shifts vertical which is 0.5 phase shift you have to figure out when does this wave starts right so it starts you know here and we went backwards to just see in the calendar year where it really starts right so we got got to this point right now the second part so that is how we get our equation and that's the equation for sine equation for this particular function. B is how many full moons will this planet have in a year, right? So full moons are the maximum values of 1, right? So maximum value of 1, first one which we have is, is actually at 20 more than this, right? Because, you know, this was 60 or you could say 80 less than 142 right either way so you, you can do 142 minus 80 will give you 62 so the full moon first full moon is on the 62nd day right and then 142 so keep on adding 80s and see how many 80s can you add to get to 400 do you see that so those are the number of full moons so it is not a bad idea to just keep on adding 80 to this because that's the time period right so we'll write first full moon on 62 second is 142 then when we add 80 to it 8 and 4 is 12 so 2 22 then again we add 80 to it to so get 2 8 302 then 80 will be 382 and now if you add 80 to it, it becomes 400 something, right? So 86, 462, that is beyond the range, right? So you get 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, do you see? So they get 5 full moons, right? So that is the answer for part B. So it's not a bad option to just mention. Sometimes they will ask you when, which days, right? So in that case also, it helps. I hope you understand and appreciate the question. It is kind of a tricky, good question. And go through it once again to really understand. Thank you. All the best.